All right, I'm going to give everybody a little walk around what I do when I get up here in the morning. It is about 8 o'clock. It is 21 degrees here in western Pennsylvania. And we actually live where our mill's at. If anybody watches outdoors with the Morgans, we're about, oh, 30 miles or so south of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get this weed burner going here. Mind. There we go. And then we'll get the burn barrel going. And that's the first step. Got to have heat. And no, it's not too close to the building. Everything will be all right. But I'm sure someone will say something. Um, and the next step here, when I get here, I got my coffee. So once I get everything checked and running here, and uh, Detroit's looking good on the oil. If anything, it's finally starting to use just a touch of oil, not making oil, which is better. I'd rather add fresh oil than have it being diluted with fuel. Okay, next step here. And there's our log for today. We'll talk about that when we do our little intro. But this is a chunk of black walnut. And uh, this is going to be the video for today. And up in the old control cab here, let's go ahead and wake the Detroit up, see how it likes it. Okay, usually the second try here. There she goes. That's no ether. No warm up. There it is. That'll take a minute or two to level itself out. Ah, I see we got heat going. And I keep some nice dry slab wood. Throw a couple more pieces of dry slab on there. Yeah, the old bus motor is saying, let me sleep in today, but it'll be okay. So, and I just check everything around the mill here. We'll start this up pretty soon, let it warm up. Oh, the loader's missing off the bucket. And this is the results of the sawdust bin will be putting walnut in here today so it's all ready for the walnut then we'll clean this out real good I want to put some new boards in the bottom here I'd like to actually throw we got some scrap uh, boards that weren't all that good I'm gonna throw down make more of a wooden floor so once it's emptied out again we can get that attack before we get into winter time but the runners are working okay and there's our slab wood pile and Okay, everything's going. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee now and we'll talk to you here in a bit. Good morning, YouTube. I am here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, Marky. And morning. John the Turtle. And huh. I want to, John, do you know my name? Mark Galici, G A L <laughs> I can't believe I see, it. I see her. He amazes me every time. Yeah, John, I mean, uh, he's really something else. Uh, and I don't know if he knows who you are. Rough Eddie? Nah, he ain't rough. He, he's smooth too. He's, he's a good guy. Huh. Good job. <laughs> I'd like to thank our 45,600 subscribers. Yeah, we appreciate every and, one of them. And uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, please. And please share it with somebody. And let's get this channel to grow. It's sort of stagnated here for a while. It slowed down. Um, and I've been doing other videos, uh, a little bit of shop video, um, getting that house finished up up there in uh, Washington, and it's just a, it's a lot of stuff going on in my life, and uh, I like to bring you along and show you. Um, and you know, we do other things besides saw. Yeah. So this isn't our primary thing that we do in life, but uh, we do enjoy it. So, um, and it is what the sixth of November, twenty-one cool. degrees this morning. So we got the barn barrel going. I don't and, want to uh, get away from that. Yeah, and that slab wood, oh, that when you have that pine nice and dry, does it burn? And I'm almost smoke-free. 
but it burns hot. Good sweater burns. day. Good sweater day. Yeah, I got I've got a few layers on here today. If anybody's watching from Scotland, I seen a film one time that they had a sweater that had a neck around it, a high neck on it, and it was about two inches thick of wool. Oh wow. Yeah, it it was incredible, but uh if you have an extra large laying around, send it. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, Daddy would like to have a wool sweater. I think it was Ireland. Scotland. If it wasn't, it was Scotland. Ireland. Yeah. Uh, what do we got going for today? We've got a big American walnut, black. Yeah, big old black walnut. We're going to custom saw it for somebody. And we come out here last night just to get it scanned and loaded on the log deck. Uh, we got some more logs to get prepped for the log deck, and we'll show you metal detection. And we found metal in this one. Don't know what it is yet. I'm going to take that piece home, that big round. I'm going to take it home, put it on my log splitter, and see if I can find out what it is and show you how important metal detection is. Uh, if you own a band mill, I guess, you know, $25 band is not that bad. But when you own a circle mill like frickin' Jeep owns and, uh, you know, anybody logger weight, he, he runs a circle head rig, you got to really be careful because these are $3,000 blades. Yeah. And if you're lucky, you just destroy the teeth. And if you're not lucky, you break the shoulders out and you got problems so or stick the saw on this but yeah it, it's it's a nice metal detector we've had it for years uh, since we hit them insulators in your log take a handful of oh. pieces every one of those little pieces was hundred and some dollars worth <laughs> yeah. of damage each time so yeah it's paid for itself it's paid for itself so all right well let's get going here and uh i'll tell you what let's uh let's get the rest of them logs scanned and ready to go on to the log deck and then then we'll saw once uh cousin eddie's going to show up today so yeah all right let's, let's get, get going done. okay another piece of black walnut here and a lot of people want to know what do we use we use a wrens it's a p4000 metal detector handheld and uh, we did find metal in that log that's up on a deck. It was 12 foot, and now it's down to 10, 10 foot. foot. So, when you turn it on, and once it tunes in, then you kick it to run. And this thing saved us thousands and thousands of dollars in its life. You want to take your time, you want to go around the log. If you think you're going to sweep at one time, you're going to hit metal. All right, Eddie, do your stuff. When Eddie has his machine, he'll just sit in there and uh, he'll flip it with his uh, skid steer. And look at that. We torture Eddie all the time. And here's where tree turtles come in handy to wedge. All right, one more time there, Ed. And again, you gotta keep coming around the log. You can't just... Uh... We'll do that, then we'll go one more time, and then that'll be it. If you can come over one more, we got her. And this is going to be a real nice stick of walnut. It's a beauty. Whoa. No, Eddie was not harmed in any way during filming this video. Safe. He's safe. All right, we're going to call this log good. And uh, there's that chunk way over there. Maybe we'll get the camera, we'll go over and show you what we did find. But. Uh, that's how it's done. We're going to get this up on a deck and we're going to get to saw in here. So we'll talk to you here in a minute. Alrighty, let's start again. And a big walnut log. And these cold mornings, it takes a while to start things. This cab is rocking and rolling. All right, let's see where we're at here on the carriage. 
We got 10 foot, so we're in good shape there, I guess. I'm gonna back up just a Alright. And here we go. Big walnut coming at you. And that's gonna be good. We're gonna try to get that off first. Put the master dog down. Hydraulics are really moaning here. I'm gonna open that up a little bit more. Probably going to work right there. Let me see if I can get a little bit more up the back here. All right, and there's our open cut. Now we're going to make a stop sign, and that's all I can do without a top saw or a bigger blade. take too long for these hydraulics to warm up so there we go let's continue the opening process Gonna be some pretty walnut, let me tell you. All right, let's roll her back again, and so on and so forth, till we get to the point where we can get through it with the saw. All Even the dogs are moving slow today. to the saw again. We're going to take it down slow. Well, we should be able to edge something off of that coming up. He wants all four quarter. That's what we're going to give them. Old bus motor's liking this, Louie. Look at that, just barely breaking through. And that's about perfect. He'll get a nice piece of wood out of that. Nice old board. All right. We're at 25 inches, and we're going to take a couple more rolls on it, and we'll be all right. I'm going to bring the 
knees back a little bit more. And that looks good. It won't be long. We'll be at our we'll be at our uh, cut through. Let's dog her down. And let's go back to the saw. This really isn't wasteful. He's going to get about a six inch board off of that when we edge off that taper. That's got a lot of nice figure in it. Uh, we got a little thin on that end, I think. It'll be alright. Yeah, Nathan would like this log. If anybody watches Nathan from out of the woods. All right. Let's make something happen here now. Go back up a little bit right there. try to do there is I bring it forward so that if it tries to roll down a little bit you get that off of the slab not the uh, not a finished board and again he's gonna he'll recover a board behind that slab so there's really not much waste going on here Getting close to our striking distance now. Beautiful. That's just a beautiful stick of wood. I think we'll be able to sneak one more off here. And I think if I lay that down. I think we'll be able to do something with it now. Look at that, it's just beautiful. It's nice when you can saw something big that's, you know, this thing is old. This tree's been around. It's been around a lot longer than me. All right, we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the dogs in, because I'm gonna try to roll, I'm gonna try to put that face right there down on my headlocks. And I think we'll be able to do something with that now. Man, the master dog can take some time off. We're done with him. Okay. Let's make some nice boards. Clean his face up a little bit. I gotta take a little bit more than that off. There we go. That'll edge something nice off. I'm going to try 
try to sneak one more off of here. And that'll put me really close. He might have to crack that off there. It puts us at 22 and three quarter. Beautiful. All right, let's lay this down and start that other face. Boy, that would be fun to turn by hand, let me tell you. There we go. Boom. Dogs out, dogs down. Look for Mr. Laser. Let's start with that. I don't want to get too greedy with it, even though it's not my log. Now we gotta get a little bit more greedy there. Well, we're almost where we need to be. And this scaled out to 360 board feet on a Doyle scale. And I told him if I find some really nice stuff coming up, once I got it canned down, I'm going to try to take a couple two inch. You can smell that walnut in the cab, it smells so good. Walnut has that real, I don't know how to explain it, but... Heavy wood has its own little distinctive smell. Alright, let's take one more off of here, then we'll go to that other face. See, that would make a nice tabletop if you would saw two two-inch boards and uh, glue them butt to butt. That would be a gorgeous table. I don't know. I think Nathan's probably watching this video saying, wow, send that my way. All right. These get a little bit difficult to turn because when they get a little oblong like this. Boom! There we go, we got a good hold of her again. Let's see where we're at. That'll work. That'll get us to an edgeable board. Oh, maybe not. You'll still get something nice out of that bottom. But I'm gonna take, at this point, I'm gonna take a little sliver here, just so we get them past that fork right in the middle. Then I'll give them a nice usable board. There we go. good oh that's still a pretty board there Let's 
lay it down while we still got a decent face left. And this walnut, it looks green when it comes off, but it will actually turn brown once it hits the air. So let me back the knees up a little bit. back to the face and we just want to just give it a little scrape that bottom looks like it has some shake going on there and it does it has some shake in it That's a shame, that's going to ruin a lot of wood. Yep, that's what you call shake. And that tree either suffered some wind damage. I just don't want pieces flying off at me. Now we're getting past it, so what I'm gonna do is take this board off, we're gonna turn it back to the knees. Work the other face down till we get to about eight inch. Then we'll work the other two faces off. We're almost, we're gonna center that heart of that tree. the old get on pedals. And I'm gonna take a little sliver off of that. That don't look so nice. Is there something behind there? Nah, I guess not. Keep it at eight inches, that'll give them some nice boards there. And then we'll work this down into the center. And we'll layer it down. All right, put the dogs in. Up the laser, and that should be close. A little bit more. Oh no, it's actually scraping. I just seen that little bit. Yep, that's absolutely perfect. That's where you want to be. One by eight. That was 
very little waste out of this log. And you can see the rate of the wood keeps getting lower and lower. Now my hydraulics are finally warm and we're almost done. Alright, let's roll that back and we're going to work this down and keep that in the center. If you see that middle dog jump, that's because the lower part of it wasn't released. Alright, let's just scrape it down just to see if it moved at all. These logs will start to twist. Yeah, there's the low grade stuff now. What? Change of plans, people. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna work them six-inch faces off. I might be able to recoup him a little, couple more nicer boards. <laughs> that little piece looks like nothing compared to what we started with, huh? Get it back in line with the saw. And let's get him some one by six. I guess whatever we do from here on in is just, it's all low grade. But again, this log come off of a land clearing job for a new house. Why aren't you setting? There you go. We'll get one more board and leave him with that thick piece. He can do something with it. Yeah, two and three quarter. That'll be good. And there's how you saw a big walnut. And we're gonna talk to you here in a bit. So we'll catch you then. All right, Eddie's sitting by the burn barrel. Feels good today. Oh yeah, it's, it's a little, and this is all in the shade here. Front of our building uh, in the winter time, it hardly ever sees sun. And cousin Eddie, the infamous, he's trying to he's trying to make us escape from John Clark's box trap. That was cruel, John. Yeah, cruel. we were putting a box trap, by the way. Yes. <laughs> but here's the uh, here's the result of that uh, one log that uh, we sawed up for a friend of ours, and uh, it's a shame this tree was shook really bad. And when I mean shake, there, there's there's just cracking in it that. Uh, when a tree is taken down either by a machine or even in a bad windstorm, it'll shatter the wood fibers. Um, there's a sneak peek at your Friday Eve video right there. And um, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show them the metal. Oh yeah. I, di I didn't find out what it was. So while well, we got you on camera here, and This is, well, we had to take this extra little piece off. I might make a little cookie table out of that. That's just beautiful, but here it is. This is what happens. Right here, you can see the darkness and that thing read in from here because you figure that was attached to the log that was that far in from the butt. And that thing found it. We're not quite in the center, 
but that's in a good eight inches or more and uh don't know what it is i'm going to take this uh, piece home with me and put it on a log splitter and i'm going to find out what the metal is and i'll show you on one of the videos of what it was and uh that'll be a headache and the sawmill did a good job today so we're happy with everything the way it's been running here so all right and that pretty much wraps up our video for today yeah and uh Done. Thank Cousin Eddie for all the help and uh, as always and just stay warm stay warm by the fire so everybody have a great week and we'll see you on your Friday Eve video which is more walnut so talk to you then thank you bye bye so